What's up squad, it's your squid, aka the Anxious Squid here at Anxious Squid Productions. I did a video last week uh, basically trying to get Indian viewers onto the channel because I don't have many and I was like, hmm, what will I do? I'll do a video to reacting to cricket, right? My American viewers were like, yeah, I have no idea what's going on here, hey. So I was like, okay, alright, let's start at the beginning, let's figure out what cricket is, shall we? Thanks for your patience in between uploads. As always, guys, please do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 18,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Can't do it without random folks like you who stumble across my content, decide they like it, and they want to see more of it. So, yeah, do me a solid. Uh, I've got two videos for this reaction. One's uh, What is Cricket? Get to know the sport. And the other one is Cricket Explains. So we might be doubling up with uh, explanations, but, yeah, let me know in the comments section if there's anything that's not answered. I've been playing cricket. I'm 30 years old now. I've been playing cricket since I was four. Uh, I've only missed about three or four years total because I've been in America for two and I was traveling for two others throughout my life. But yeah, I, I live and breathe this sport. So let's get into it. Hopefully it doesn't get demonetized. We'll see how we go, shall we? What is cricket? Cricket is a sport that is played by millions and loved by billions of people from all corners of the globe. Cricket has been played for centuries, with the first international match Same occurring on that ball. Back Rhodes, in 1844. From that time, it has continued to develop into the vibrant and exciting modern game that is played today. Cricket is a bat and ball sport that involves two teams with 11 players on each side. The aim of the game is to score more runs than the opposition. One player, the bowler, runs like a point leather ball that speeds of up to 150 kilometers per hour. Speeds of up to 150. The fastest ball ever bowled was like 166 or something. Shoaib Akhtar used to regularly bowl at 155 plus. Brett Lee used to bowl it. Sean Tate has bowled 160 something plus, like up to 150. Like they're fast. Fast bowlers are bowling 150 on on their slower ball, not their slower ball, but on their stock standard delivery, you know? Like the ones they bend their back and put extra effort in, they're getting 160 plus. So I think it's that's an team, understatement. Who then attempts to hit it with a bat in order to score runs. Yeah. Cricket is played on an oval shaped field, and in the middle of that field is the pitch, which is where most of the action takes place. At either end of the pitch, you'll find these things. They're called crease. wickets. Oh, the They're wickets. And the crease is the, the white stuff around players. it, the lines. They're important, but we'll come back to them shortly. The batting team has two batters at a time in play, yep. whilst the fielding side has all 11 players on the field. A batter scores runs in two ways. One, they hit the ball far enough that it crosses the outer boundary of the field. If the ball has bounced, it's worth four runs. Mm -hmm. Six if it hasn't. If it clears the boundary on the full, it's worth six. The maximum number of runs that can be scored from one hit. Two. Through the two batters running the length of the pitch in opposite directions whilst the fielders are retrieving the ball. Yep. One length of the pitch. You're going to get to the crease, which is what I was talking about before. The aim for the fielding side is to restrict the number of runs scored by the batting side whilst trying to get the batter out. Oh, that was nearly running out. different ways a batter can be out, with the most common being bold. The bowler bowls the ball, the batter misses it or deflects it by accident, it hits the stumps and the bails come off. Dwayne Russell, Caught. he's a fucking the good player from the, uh, and one of the, the West Indies, which is, forward. I realise, not a place really other than in cricket you know it's 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 jamaica trinidad and tobago uh other islands in that area like the caribbean islands uh, are referred to as the west indies in cricket i don't i don't know if that's generally a thing i i have spoken about the west indies here in america and people are like where's that i'm like it's fucking just down there what are you talking about uh it's the ground that's a fucking great Level catch four wicket lbw Exactly what the name suggests. So LBW was brought in specifically because cheeky cunts back in the day were just standing in front of the stumps. Can't get bowled if it hits you in the leg, right? 
there are rules now about where the ball has to bounce and if it's going to hit it, but and if you hit it first and all that stuff. But the, the ins and outs of the LBW is simple. It hit your leg, it was going to hit the stumps, you're out. Like... The ball that bowls the ball, the batter misses it, and the ball hits them on the leg in line with the stumps. Run out. The batter hits the ball and runs. Low key, one of my favourite ways the ball and throw it to get the someone out. Before either batter has reached I'll the shut up and not the speak stumps. over the explanation. Run out. The batter hits the ball and runs. But the fielding team retrieve the ball and throw it to the stumps before either batter has reached the other end. You can catch it and hit the stumps as well. Leave the field of play and another teammate replaces them. Once all the batters on a team are out, the sides swap. And the fielding team then have their turn to bat and attempt to beat the overall score set by the first batting team. Makes sense, right? But Pretty simply, simple. The winner is the team with the most runs after both sides have batted. It's a fucking good sport. Much like baseball, lots and lots and lots and lots of intricacies, ins and, you know, you could do a whole video on the way someone holds the ball when they throw or bowl. You can do it. There's lots of different types of bowlers, lots of different types of balls you can bowl. This is the second video, so we'll have a look at this one as well. This is Nin Explains. I don't know, it only goes for four minutes or something. Looks like he's going to be using the IPL as a way, as a means of explaining stuff, which is, again, much like with baseball, there's lots of different intricacies, lots of different tiers of the sport, lots of different areas that they play it and stuff, but the IPL is one of the leading formats of the game. Well, 2020 is the format. The IPL is one of the leading competitions uh, in the in the, the world at the moment, basically. But, yeah, it's... I love cricket. Cricket's great. Let's watch this video as well, but I think I'm going to do a reaction to the to the runouts, top runouts in history as well, because that one with Jonty Rhodes in there, I reckon that's probably up there. South Africa and their runouts, like, John... Uh, Fuck it. I'll, we'll go into the runouts in the runout video, but yeah, let's the let's learn more, more learn more about cricket. Team. Ned explains the rules of cricket. The object of the game is for your team to score more runs than the opposing team. Teams are made up of eleven runs points. One Same thing. In case of injury, at the beginning of the game, a coin toss is used to determine who bats first. The fielding team will put all eleven players on the field, whilst the batting team will send out two batsmen. Batsmen always work in pairs, and a batsman cannot bat alone. The batsman's job is to score runs and defend their wickets. Yeah, so His that's that's something that wasn't mentioned in the first video. You have eleven players on the team, and all eleven players bat, but you have to have two batsmen not out to be able to bat. So it's only 10 wickets per side, right? So the fielding team gets 10 people out and there is a batsman that is left and his score is, for example, if he got five runs, he, he got five not out for that innings, whereas everyone else got 30 or 31, five, six, seven, whatever, but he gets a not out and it, the way you work out your average, which is a statistic for batting, is uh, the amount of runs you got divided by the amount of times you got out. So you can have a, an average above your highest score, like higher than your highest ever score, if you just hardly ever fucking get out and the rest of your team does. Uh, it's one, incidentally, one of my favourite players growing up, Michael Bevan, had a very high average, but that's because he batted as like the seventh or eighth bloke to come in every, uh, every game they played. So a lot of the time, he ran out of people to bat with. Fun fact. Three wooden stumps with two wooden bales resting on top of them. They try and hit the ball away from the wickets and run to their partner's crease. If a batsman hits the ball and both men safely run to the opposite crease, this scores one run. If the ball balls the ball high, wide, or throws a no ball, which is an illegal ball, this automatically scores one run. Yeah, the other video didn't pick that up. The floor and it reaches the boundary. This scores four runs automatically without the batsman having to run. And if the batsman hits the ball in the air and it goes over the boundary, this scores six automatic runs. This is the highest scoring play. That's what the umpire does. That's the symbol for six. It's the job of the fielding team to get the batsman out of the game. Drop down. The fielding team can designate specific players to ball the ball towards the batsman. To ball the ball, a ball must be balled over on and be within the channel of play. In cricket, there are ten ways for a fielding team to get you out. Number one, balled out. If the ball balls the ball and hits the batsman's wickets and knocks over the bench, oh, that is he's been poor. balled out. Number two, you shouldn't out. have got bowled for that if ball. If the batsman hits the ball in the air and is caught by a fielder, he's been caught out. Number three, run out. If the batsman runs for his partner's crease and the ball is thrown into Bang. the wickets before the batsman gets there, he's been run out. Number four, LBW. If the ball hits the batsman's leg and the umpire thinks the ball would have been absolutely plumb. Like wasn't in the way, he is ruled out by LBW. 
Yeah, that's it. Sorry, yeah, that's slang. Cricket slang plum is basically you could not be any more out, LBW. Uh, like, it was going to hit the middle of the middle stump halfway up. Like, you are... That's hitting the stumps. That is fucking plum as anything. There is no way you can dispute that. That's definitely hitting the stumps. Plum. Gone. LB. Bye. Stumped out. If the batsman swings and misses the ball, the wicketkeeper can catch that the ball. That actually is my favourite. And low-key, I'm not sure how many times it's ever happened in the history of the, the sport cricket, right? But stumped. stumped I, that's the position I play. Wicketkeeper, that's my jam, right? Because you're involved every every single ball of the game, you know? So, it, it, but... I got a hat trick of stumpings, right? Three balls, three stumpings, okay? And I will tell you that story in the run out video. So it'll come. It'll be here within a day or two. If you're watching this in the future, fuck it. Actually, I'll, I'll film it after this one. So stay tuned, all right? If you're watching this in the future, check out my reaction videos playlist because it'll be in that. Batsman can return to the crease. He's been stumped out. It's like a run out, but in the action of the... He hasn't hit it, you know? A batsman can get himself out or his own partner out by accidentally hitting the wickets themselves. The other four ways to get out That's, of the wicket... No, hey, he's, he's wrong here, right? This, this is just a run out. That's not hit wicket or accident. So what happened there is the guy, like, was walking to try and get a run in quicker if, like, it's called backing up. Except the guy hit it straight down the ground. It flicked a little bit of the guy's finger, the bowler's finger... And then it hit the stumps. So it's run out because he's out of his crease. They're attempting a run. The player has touched it and then it's touched the stumps. It's just, it, I suppose it comes under the accidental out because the player can't have, he, like, there's absolutely no human in the world with reaction times fast enough to have, uh, it, if he's middled it, to deliberately try and deflect off his hand onto the stumps, right? Like, he has just put his hand out to try and stop the ball. It's flicked off a finger and then it's hit the stumps. But... In the scorebook, it still goes down as run out, as if somebody picked it up and threw it at the stumps, you know? So that's that's not hit wicket. Hit wicket is if you're standing there and you're going to play a shot and you stand on the stumps. Or if you, like, with your bat, trying to, as you, in your backswing, you knock the bales off the stumps or something like that. That's hit wicket. That's that's a poor example to use. Using the wickets themselves. The other four ways to get out in cricket almost never happen in today's game. These include hitting the ball twice in one stroke, handling yeah. the ball, obstructing a fielding player, or taking too long to take to the field. Correct. Once a batsman is out, he's replaced by the next batsman in the batting team's lineup. Once ten players are out, the players switch sides of the batsman and outfielders, and vice versa. The highest run total after both sides have had their turn to bat wins. That's basically the game in a nutshell, but there are a few other things you'll need to understand. Some people like chasing, Most some people like setting a score first. Once six legal balls have been played, this is known as an over. Once an over is complete, a new bowler will then try and get the other batsman out by bowling the ball from the other side. Yeah. Once both teams have finished batting, this is known as an innings. The amount of overs and innings vary depending on the format of cricket. Oh, did he catch that? Each team is given 20 overs for one innings. This game generally lasts about three hours. In one day cricket, each team is given 40 or 50 overs for one innings. As the name implies, the game generally lasts about a day. In test cricket, there are no My favorite overs, form of cricket, test cricket. The game theoretically ends when all batsmen are out and is usually played for two innings. This game can last anywhere up to five days and is the oldest and longest form of cricket. Love it. If you're new to cricket, I highly recommend watching the highlights of any Indian Premier League game to start yeah, out with. Yeah, absolutely. If you're watching cricket on TV, they'll conveniently tell you how many runs have been scored and how many batsmen are out. And they'll even tell you what the other team scored and how many runs are required to win the game. Cricket may seem like a slow game, but if you watch your yeah, play, no. the rules will become clear. If you You'll pick it up. If you at all helpful, please comment, like, share and subscribe. It takes me eight... Yeah, go and give him a like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz, because it probably takes him ages to create those videos and stuff. But yeah, I I love cricket. I really enjoy cricket. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'm about to react to some runouts because it's nice and simple for you. But um, yeah, these guys are my patrons. I like money. Turning some of yours into mine on a monthly basis would be ideal. Please give me some money. Click the link in the description. Give me a dollar a month. Um, I will guarantee that you will get a reaction video if you send me a link and stuff if you join certain tiers on patreon so if you want me to react to a certain player or or concept join my patreon send me some money and i'll do it straight away other than that these guys are the affiliates on the channel various other ways for me to learn, earn money and all that jazz and um yeah i'm gonna keep filming and doing my thing i'll see you when i look at you 
you'll see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching.